Hello friends, this is Sagar from Education. So let's continue our third person shooter tutorial. So where we left, uh, we just made one blank space. This is our blank space. So we left here. Okay. So uh, one thing, I just click this and move into the blueprint project folder sorry. so okay what we do now uh, one thing I notice uh, we don't set this default map so when you open because uh, we change the folder so uh, editors sa start up uh, map will not find the exact location where is third person mm, map now so just click start up and theme default just click this and one one more thing we create our own game mode so uh, select this and we don't uh, create a game instance so what we do now just go over here and let's create a game instance right time game instance create um, ok I name it as you game instance ok uh, just go into project setting and cho choose this as you game instance which we create right now so ok and now what we do First of all, we need some action mapping to run this. Create uh, new action mappings. Go into project, go into inputs, and create one. Create one, two. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six name equip equip weapon equip weapon we use e mm, here it is and choose uh weapon swap weapon we can swap uh, here we choose mouse of wheel and create one key also mouse down uh, we roll the mouse and we switch the weapon ok here fire press F and uh, item interaction oh sorry uh, we need sorry <laughs> uh, left mouse item action so here we use F and we need sprint what I always do mistakes typing because I am not good in keyboard 
so what to use left shift left shift okay right now it's okay uh -huh. one more thing is reload press R to reload left one okay everything is okay uh, you can just close this it will automatically save your work so first of all we just sprint wow spelling okay it's okay we will change later so right now we can't sprint we just move like this uh, a lot of people use this and you know walk speed max walk speed uh, they put like this but I don't like this selling 300 and 3 is 600 when we press this let's go on this and when we, we release go back to the normal position so he sprint not a sprint but it not look so realistic you know it's not looks good so what we do we just make him like human so we just tweak him something so create a <coughs> walk speed And uh, just control duplicate because we need some one bull also. Sprint, okay. Just put over here. Then we press the button. Go like this. Just make it true and change walk speed to float, okay. So what we go do just drag and drop and put over here 300 ok just multiply float and put over here uh, 3 and just clamp it ok clamp Okay, put over here minimum 300 and maximum 600. So we clamp the speed in 300 and to 600. Okay, and just right click. And when you put like this, it will automatically set, otherwise, it will show you this. So the tip is so you can just right and drag and put it over like this so it will automatically set for you just control c or draw v and plug it like this and change this to 300 minimum and maximum because when we release we want him to walk normally so change this value to 0.5 uh, this is the best setup I found so you can just tweak this values but this is this works fine for me so I'll stick with this okay <coughs> now this will set something just copy this oh sorry don't copy this right now just take this all make some room right click uh, collapse into macro name it sprinting ok and we just uh, rename can do sp do 
this rent on this rent okay and you can just put it like this if you want so we don't want this uh, really we don't want we don't need fire other thing from here so just ok and make one thing like copy and paste we will leave it like this and just take this and type <coughs> f interp interpret f interp interpolation type this is the note so target is walk speed remember this is set to 300 otherwise uh, it won't work and uh, like control to control v and what is our current is we need current so just type it get max walk get max walk speed and just put it like this then we need a uh, delta so what we gonna do we just uh, world type world delta seconds so now it's complete and I'll show you what what we get after this type uh, point 5 is good for me if you increase the value uh, it's depend on you but point 0.5 is better I'll show you why so just everything is complete or right click and collapse in macro name it speed check Okay, and open this right click put over here and put over here. So, okay, and go outside. And I'll show you one trick. Uh, you can call it a tip. Actually, I never use event tech a lot because event tech is very expensive so what I use is action mapping it it will always it is always firing do you, do you want to see look at this when I play hello 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 so if you can't don't move it will always firing constantly firing so we use this and you can make a function if you want even take kind of thing you can use your action mapping you can put from here and here just use this okay uh, so so what we got now just look at this when I press shift wow it goes smooth very smooth when I release it will go blend very easily into walk he's, yeah, he's running he's going to walking so now it looks realistic not that kind of or if you want very fast type movement you can just open it and change it one so I don't think one is good because I try this or you can okay, 
one more thing I switch off one thing is uh, I don't like motion blur it type over here motion motion blur of this okay because sometime my system bit laggy so now it's okay so now we walk really good did you see very good so now we walk like human blending very and this mode will work every time of every type of plan space if you put rifle combat it will work with all uh, with that also so now what we create we create a some blend space so right click and make one plan okay one one thing I want to tell you uh, I wrap this video in 25 minutes maybe later because uh, everything is going uh, very long so so I part mm, uh, split into parts okay so just rifle combat open this type direction okay and here choose direction and this is 180 and this is negative 180 okay and here it is speed and we here is 600 and put over here is 8 we need 8 divisions so it is good now save it and here is the key <coughs> okay <coughs> type your rifle ideal and put all the ideal in the bottom like this okay just walk type rifle walk uh, we walk backward Backward, uh, you can put backward walk in here and in here backward walk <coughs> and front forward walk forward walk put over here and now we need a strip stripping so here is the right 135 strip right right 45 45 going in here and uh, 135 right go in here and uh, right loop go in here so like this okay and uh, same left also left left loop go in here not here okay 45 go here and left 135 go in here so now it's looks very smooth okay and uh, type run rifle run so rifle run 
backward put it over over here okay uh, rifle run backward put it over here same run forward put here and run left 135 left go over here and left 45 go here left loop run left loop go here and same run 135 go here run 45 go here and run right loop go over here so now you see how smooth okay everything is okay just save it and go into here into your default locomotion make one add state name it combat rival ok just do like this and open it and base server combat rifle put it over here and just go here and we have speed but we need a direction so just promote to the variable direction okay we set this okay uh, now we need a transition right click when we go into this transition we need to set something like equip weapon promote this variable equip equip weapon and just control c and when we want to go back into the idle pose just not okay so everything is cover error gone mm, come into the event graph here we do something we need to do something over here right click cause to sg this is my corrector uh, you know sg corrector sg some people a little bit puzzled this is our character we need to cast in here so right click <coughs> and promote this to variable sg reference sg reference so we set reference remove uh, all the pins because we already set a reference so we can use this put like this for sake of cleanliness like this okay we have already set uh, into speed in speed for our character but we need a uh, you know we need a uh, direction so just right click and type just right click calculate direction so it will give you like this note so then you know that what you need just right click drag and drop and get actor rotation rotation character rotation put rotation into rotation and velocity control c control v uh, we use velocity like this or you can just plug it like this but it's okay so v 
we have direction now so we need this direction just right click and put like here it will all automatically set for you okay just so now we only need a we only need something which fire our this transition so what we do just go into our memcraft and just for keep you know for testing purpose we cube <laughs> we already create a event action event right click and uh, control w it will uh, duplicate your variable uh, name it a cube weapon okay just press alt and drag and drop it will automatically set just true this is control v alt true okay just put flip flop this is just for testing purposes is our is everything is okay or not so so now we can call this variable into our anim b so here we can set like this control c control v get a cube weapon and we just click over here and put in to this node and we automatically set so now we we suddenly we equip oh wow and did you see when you leave uh, when you leave your shift key it will slowly go into walk slowly going to uh, run and slowly going to walk so right now we move with my you know uh, inputs but we change it like this uh, we create a right click drag and drop uh, type orient o r i e n t set orient to rotation and right click use oh yeah. use control your set your control your just make like this and uh, put into a uh, macro because macro is very useful we can put this macro in anywhere slash yaw so what we do like this and I give you one tip also when you click uh, uh, right click this and it will automatically put the name you no need to make your variables again and I just put like this will automatically set the name so we can just simply choose whatever we like we can just change long name into short like this uh, I use this is okay for me so what we do when we equip weapon we need to we want stripping kind of feature so just use this and just when we release just we go again into orient rotation font so just right click and we will check so now you see 
we go very good in stripping everything when you hit shift it will go wow like this so now he can move in every direction and you you see when I it, it will slowly down his speed so that's it for now so I and when I so now it is moved in all direction okay thank you for watching my tutorials uh, so hope you like this and please uh, uh, give comment below what you like or not in future videos or you can support me to join my page uh, link in the description below so thank you we will continue this series later okay save everything Okay, bye-bye, take care.